Although in many ways, despite the obviously trying nature of everything that's been happening over the last year, we have managed to make a lot of progress. We had lovely sessions in the building this year. We've been in bubbles, but that bubbled nature has meant that we've not actually been able to do anything with the whole brass department in one place. So we thought it would be a really nice idea to have at least one moment of the year where we're all together, even if it is virtually. Um, so I've commissioned the brilliant Ryan Linham, who wrote The Legend of the Lockdown Leavers this time last year, has written us a superb piece called the staycation celebration and it features almost every single one of our students and about 13 or 14 of our brilliant visiting tutors and our international chair i hope you really enjoy it Welcome to our graduating students, staff, family and friends who've been able to join us online. Graduation is always a special time and many of you will have been dreaming about the moment you could cross the stage in cap and gown to collect your certificate for a long time now. For others of you, it may have been a more recent dream. But we will make sure that you have that moment. And I do hope very much that you'll be able to join us in January next year when we plan to welcome you and your guests to an in-person ceremony at Birmingham Symphony Hall, marking your achievements in the traditional way. But in the meantime, we did not want to let the completion of your studies, the moment of your achievement, pass by without celebration or fanfare. And so I'm really glad you've been able to join us from wherever in the world you might be. Because one of the things, of course, that we've learned over the past challenging 15 months is that virtual events give us a unique opportunity to bring people together wherever they're physically located. I'm here 
in Curzon Building at our city centre campus. But whether you're watching in your home in Birmingham or as far away as China, India, Nigeria, or one of the over a hundred different countries that our student body is drawn from, welcome to this virtual degree celebration. What's absolutely clear is that no matter what the past year or so has looked like, you've continued to work hard, show resilience and determination, and that's why you're now a graduate. So this is a special event, the culmination of years of hard work. It's a time to celebrate your achievements and those who've supported you on your journey. No one will ever be able to take this away from you. You're the class of 2021 BCU graduates and we're immensely proud of you and we look forward to the day when we can celebrate in person. BCU is proud to be the university for our great city of Birmingham. It's right that we are deeply engaged with many of the developments taking place across the city. It's such an exciting place to be. We've got the Commonwealth Games on the horizon in 2022. We'll be moving into the Alexander Stadium following the Games as a new home for our portfolio of sport courses. The BBC has committed to moving their operations into the city and next to our city centre in Digbeth, there's of course an increasing number of media and technology companies opening up, taking advantage of the unique creative industry skills in our city coming out of our university. And with our partners in the Institute of Technology, we're ensuring that the young people in our city and region have strong practical roots into engineering and into digital technologies. The world's changing faster than any of us will have ever seen before. This was true even before the pandemic, but that's only accelerated the magnitude of change. And because of that, the world feels uncertain right now. But the pandemic has reaffirmed why the creation of knowledge and the development of skills are so important. We've all seen the development of vaccines at an unprecedented speed, the discovery of different ways of working, different practices in our frontline services to care for the sick. And we've all had to learn to work very differently. And it's why graduates like you will continue to be in demand from employers they want the skills you developed, the knowledge you've acquired. They want your ideas. They want your enthusiasm. They want your ability to deal with a changing world, responding to its challenges and seeing them as opportunities. Even before the pandemic, I would have told you that the nature of work was changing. Few people are going to have a job for life, and that's probably even truer now. But it also means that you will continue to learn to develop new skills and acquire new knowledge as you go. This is something our graduates are well placed to do because at BCU you benefited from applied learning. You've had plenty of opportunity to apply your learning throughout the course that you've been on. And because of that education, you will be able to adapt and respond to that changing world. You'll be able to give back to society and to make a difference. Who knows what the people in this event right now will go on to do that changes our world for the better. When I wrote to invite you to this celebration, I told you that education has a special power to transform lives. And education's already had an impact on your lives and it will go on to make a difference to the lives of others. The work you do will transform other people's lives. And we see examples of this almost every week. Just over a year ago, I witnessed our healthcare students face the greatest challenge the NHS has ever confronted. And at the height of the pandemic, they took on frontline roles before graduation to ensure that the city's health service could face the demands placed upon it. It's been a marathon effort to protect us and those we love. And we're deeply proud of all of our students. And whatever you go on to do, we hope so much that you will stay in touch with us so we can continue to take pride in your achievements. Because BCU is a community, and you, our students, have told us that being part of BCU means something. It means pride and confidence and belonging. And you're now one of our alumni body, part of BCU for life. 
So as you take your next steps, remember you're not alone. You have the staff who supported you, some of whom you will hear from shortly. You have your family, and of course, you've got the friends you made at BCU. We take real pride in you, and we're confident in what you've achieved and what you're going to go on to achieve. And we would like to celebrate your special achievement. I hope you enjoy this celebration. It's all for you. Hello and welcome to your very special virtual graduation celebration. As Chancellor of Birmingham City University, things you never thought you'd hear yourself say, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this celebration. It might look a little bit different to what you were imagining when you first stepped through the university doors all those years ago. Back then, Netflix and chill meant a hot date. Now it's official government health advice. But let's make one thing clear from the start. It does not change the magnitude of your achievement. In fact, given everything you've had to contend with over the past year, it's completely astounding. We are all in awe of you. We are. I would give you a standing ovation, but like everybody working from home, I haven't worn trousers since last Easter. But whether you're in your bedroom, your grandmother's kitchen, or sitting in the garden with your family dog, I want you to give yourself a great big cheer and raise the roof. You've done it. You completed your degree. So don't be shy, let your neighbors know about it. It's payback time for all those Amazon parcels they nicked off your front doorstep. In fact, never mind raise the roof. Let's shout from the rooftops. You are a graduate after all. Ready? On three, BCU posse in full effect. One, two, three. Each and every one of you celebrating today has shown dedication and personal commitment to be here. You stand at the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. You're on the bottom rung of a ladder, which will take you to exciting new careers and opportunities. You could even be prime minister one day, prime minister. Apparently the only qualifications are floppy hair and not knowing how many kids you've got. You're ready to make a positive difference to the world around you. You, my friends, are the class of 2021. The most chaotic, turbulent, shocking year since way back in 2020. No one will ever forget you. Just by being here, you've shown that you've got resilience, determination, a commitment to hard work, and most importantly, the ability to stealthily go on Tinder during a Zoom lecture, isn't it? And those things are going to stand you in such good stead as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Look at you all. You didn't think you'd get here. You didn't think you'd stay the distance. It seemed too hard, too overwhelming, too exhausting. And I was just doing those Joe Wicks YouTube workouts. But you did it and you're here, celebrating as all of your hard work has paid off. No one will ever take these things from you. Not the achievement and pride in what you've done, nor the sense of belonging you feel when you meet another BCU graduate. Because your BCU journey is not ending here. You're going to be part of a community of people who are all proud of your achievements, who all support one another and cheer each other on. The BCU community is very special indeed. I, Lenny Henry, am proud to be a part of the community and have spent a very happy and fulfilling five years as chancellor here. Things were very different back then. Boris was still a figure of fun, Rather than a beleaguered PM, since he got the job, he spent so little time in bed, his hair started to look normal. And then last year, they gave me another title, Visiting Professor. This is a title which I'm equally proud to hold, because it is linked to the work of the Seleni Henry Centre for Media Diversity. We launched the centre right at the beginning of lockdown, but I'm really pleased to say that its work has continued. We are conducting research with the ultimate aim of making sure all of society is represented across the media. This will ultimately help to support a fairer, more inclusive landscape where young people from all backgrounds have no limits placed on their dreams and ambitions. And we're starting to see that diversity at last. Is anybody watching Bridgerton on Netflix? A Regency story about a rich white girl falling in love with a cool black guy. It's basically Downton Abbey meets the Kardashians. Now, um, <clears throat> I became Chancellor of BCU 
because I believe passionately in education and the power of education to transform lives. Just before the pandemic, I officially opened a centre in King Stanley that BCU is running with a charity called Inter University. The centre is based in an area where few young people go into higher education and offers academic support and mentoring to promote the aspirations of the young people who live there. And the day we opened the centre showed exactly why we need something like it. There were kids there as young as 10 or 11 who were dreaming big and had been encouraged to follow those dreams. I even met the most talented 13-year-old juggler you'll ever see, who's determined to make it big in entertainment. I don't doubt that he will. After all, I've still got his business card. Schemes like this are vital because they help young people to overcome barriers which are put in their way, help them to achieve their potential and start to level the playing field for youngsters from disadvantaged backgrounds. They address the vicious circle which these young people find themselves in, showing them that higher education could be for them and developing skills to help them get there. Birmingham is a place full of opportunity, but we need to keep working to ensure that young people from all backgrounds have access to these opportunities, regardless of which postcode they were born in or which school they went to. Mmm, Jamaican tea with a bit of rum in it. Now, being part of BCU means grabbing every opportunity that comes your way. But make sure you ask first. You're not the last US president or the next US president. You'll have had endless opportunities whilst you've been with us. Expert guidance and teaching from your tutors and lecturers, the input of industry experts, the addition of career-related skills into every course, and the chance to get to grips with how to apply your learning in the real world. Plus, you haven't had to waste time getting dressed for lectures. Now, take all of the skills you've developed and use them to help you flourish. Get out there and make the world a better place. Let's face it, right now the bar is so low, it might as well be a Weatherspoons for little people. Don't forget the wealth of resources we have here to help you as you step out into the labour market. Whether that's careers advice as you start your job hunt or support for those with a more entrepreneurial mindset. You have access to these resources as a member of the BCU community, so use them wisely. This community is made up of people from all walks of life, each with their own story to tell. This is the latest chapter in your story and you will now go on to write the next one as you embrace the opportunities which come your way. And no matter what obstacles you encounter on the road or head, no matter how difficult and scary it might seem, just remember, it cannot be as bad as being stuck in the house with your family. Congratulations, enjoy your day, and look forward to seeing you in real life very, very soon. My name is Seleni Henry. I'm so sorry for the banging about upstairs. I love you, be cool, be happy. Put your, put your cardboard hat on. I'm going to put this on. Give one more cheer. Hooray! As Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean, I'd like to welcome all the graduating students from the Faculty of Computing, Engineering and the Built Environment at Birmingham City University who are here with us today. The fact that you are here graduating today is no mean feat. While you've been studying, the world has been in upheaval and has been going through dramatic change. Despite all of that, through your grit and determination, you have still made something special happen. You have completed your studies and have been awarded your certificate in the middle of this global and devastating situation. You have every reason to be really proud of yourself and your achievements. And we know that we're relying on medical and scientific developments that will continue to tackle the disease and its variants. The fact remains that the subjects that you have studied and become qualified in, such as computing, engineering and the built environment, these subjects will play a vital role in creating a better world in the future. The changes in working practices, the emergence of new business models and the other developments will have our subjects at their core. Digital and artificial intelligence, engineering and robotics, alongside a new perspective on the built environment and how spaces are used, 
have all become increasingly important. Yes, we know there is considerable uncertainty, but with that comes opportunity in equal measure. Your skills and expertise will be key to the future. You will determine how we rebuild and forge a new and better world. Don't let your memories of your time with us be defined by the challenges of the recent past. Do take the time to remember all the great things that you took part in before and during the current situation. Recall your involvement in exciting activities such as Innovation Fest, Birmingham Tech Week and Steam Hacks. The competitions that you took part in, the hackathons, the game jams, the online debates, the site visits, being a student rep and taking part in Graduate Plus to expand your CV. You also got involved in our strong links to industry and professional bodies, including industry mentored projects, the work on real problems and challenges, and you took part in group projects. So let me remind you again, you haven't just succeeded, but you've done it against all the odds. And as a result of that, you should go out and face the world with confidence. Use your education to elevate the quality of your thinking and your ideas. Make sure that you apply your knowledge and keep on developing your expertise. Education is powerful. It connected you to this new identity that you have developed and the person that you have become. And if you use your education well, it will continue to be the source of vital life transforming connections for you. I have every faith that you will use your education and talents to improve your own life, the lives of your families, and to improve your communities. I know you will continue to make us proud. Please keep in touch with us as you progress through life and through your careers. Congratulations on your fantastic achievement. Very well done. Hello, my name's Andy Afterlack, and I'm Head of School of Computing and Digital Technology here at Birmingham City University. I'd like to thank all our previous speakers for their inspirational and motivational messages, and really to add my congratulations to theirs on your magnificent achievement of graduating with a degree from Birmingham City University. So really well done. I'm here to speak on behalf of the staff. That's all the academics, our support staff, our administrative staff, our visiting teachers, our demonstrators and our guest speakers. I think it's fair to say that nothing makes us happier than to see you graduate. It really is a culmination not only of all your efforts, but all our efforts as well. And quite frankly, it's the reason why academics become academics. It is the reason that we work at a university. Now, rather like you, we miss graduating in person. We really like dressing up in our finery, in our robes and parading out onto the stage at Symphony Hall and seeing you all in person and seeing you receive your degrees as you pass across the stage. And hopefully we'll be able to do that at some point in the future. Now, of course, the reason why we can't graduate in person is because of the pandemic. And it's worth mentioning that the pandemic has really made learning and teaching uh, tremendously exciting, um, tremendously challenging, and tremendously different from anything we've ever been or had to do in the past. It does make your achievement all the greater that you've been able to work through the pandemic and still be able to graduate. Now, we have been able to do some face-to-face -face teaching this year. We were able to open up some of our labs, and I hope that you've been able to participate in that. But it is worth remembering that before the pandemic, we were able to teach you in person in earlier years. And maybe you remember back to your first year doing your group projects and presenting them all at Innovation Fest. Now, we've been able to run Innovation Fest again this year, and I hope you've been able to participate, whether that be in person, presenting to some of our judges in our competitions or online. I hope this has been a suitable celebration of the culmination of your project through your final year project. So again, really well done. So now, of course, you've graduated with us. Hopefully you'll move on to a long and fulfilling career. And I think with a degree from computing and digital technology, 
you're really well set up for some really exciting jobs and careers. As the world comes out of the pandemic, the skills that you've learned in science and technology are going to be at the centre of rebuilding the world's economy. And I can already see the job market beginning to open up and really exciting careers be available for everybody again. I think the future is going to be very bright for you and I really wish you all the best for that future. I really also want to thank all your supporters. We've mentioned some of them already. I'd like to thank the academic staff and the support staff and the administrators, whether they be our course administrators or our other administrators. I'd like to thank all the central university services that have been able to support you. And I'd really like to thank our employability team who I know are working really hard to help launch your exciting careers. And of course, not to forget all those friends and families that I'm sure have been supporting you through your endeavours to get your degree. To thank you so much to them. And of course, now you're leaving Birmingham City University, you don't get to really leave. You're going to be an alumni of the university. And I hope that you'll be able to come back and perhaps share some of your experience, both as a student and starting your career with our future students and inspire them to do as well as you have. So really, it only leaves me to congratulate you once again and wish you all the best for the future. And I hope that I'll be able to see you very, very soon. Thank you. I'd like to say to uh, every student that's graduating, a huge well done. I think the, the skills that you've built up and the exceptional circumstances that you've had to deal with have created a, a different level of capability in you um, and you can now take that and uh, take it off into your career and go and do something really, really valuable with it. Um, it's created a level of, um, uh, of challenge that you can bring into businesses. But my encouragement to you is to use that challenge now to think about what sort of role you really want. You are going to be competing in a huge, um, a hugely changed environment, a much more competitive employment environment. But if you are very, very, um, let's call it choiceful about the way that you um, pick the, the jobs that you want to go for, I think you can really uh, go into them with confidence and make a difference. You are more employable through the skills you've built this year than previous, uh, previous graduates um, have been because of the circumstances that you've been through. Um, and you need to use that and, and use the power of that um, to compete strongly in the employment market. So very good luck in, in that and huge congratulations on your achievements. This year has been challenging for each one of us, but you, graduates of 2021, have worked hard and pushed right through it all. Today you stand as the BCU graduates of 2021, determined, dedicated and resilient. Along with managing your own workloads, you have contributed to BCU, supported first and second year students, and inspired each one of us along the way. On behalf of every student at BCU, thank you. Thank you for your continuous guidance and for being our role models. We wish you the best in whatever you put your minds to. They say education is the key for success. I add that a transmittive education is a candle that will light our path when darkness shows its ugly face. It is the key that will open the doors of the spire. And this is the education BCU provided. As a postgraduate student, I, I had lots of challenges and I came through all of them. I achieved high level of education. I gained lots of knowledge and my advice for the students who still studying to and working hard to achieve their dreams is never give up and BCU will always be there for you. The students we've met have the past us, they have a drive, this determination to learn and the passions that come with are already interesting and we're very impressed with what they've produced. Our graduates today, the industry expects you to not only be good at what you do, but be enthusiastic behind it. You don't necessarily need to know everything on the day you start your job, but you've got to be prepared to learn. Pandemic wasn't easy on us, 
spending half the time online and having barely face-to-face contact. I am beyond grateful for the OBCU staff who provide the endless support for the students to ensure that they've got everything that they need to tackle, especially in those hard times. And even though the ride wasn't an easy one, but it was definitely a memorable one. And for that, I want to thank all the BCU staff, especially for the computing and digital technology department, for working alongside with students and providing the best support they could ever give. Um, without any of you, I would have not gained all the confidence and skills to under the next step of my life, especially that I'm graduated. Um, and thank you so much for the, your hard work, for dedication, for resilience and just not giving up on any of us um, and just finding different ways to support us. I would like to congratulate you on this special day. It was a real pleasure to witness your remarkable progress from day one at PCU until today. What a great journey. Well done all. I was extremely lucky to be part of your learning experience and I'm so delighted to see your achievements. I really enjoy my time working with you all. You have reached a very important milestone in your life. But let me tell you one thing. This is just a start for a great career ahead. So never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Please keep pushing and gain more skills and knowledge. You are a real talent. You should be proud of yourself. Wish you all the best. Before you all go, I feel on behalf of the students, I need to say this. Thank you for being such an inspiring force for all of us and thank you for all the guidance that we received from you. You may not know it, but you have silently inspired many first and second years throughout your time. So I must say thank you to all of you. Congratulations, dear graduates. I wish you the very best as you move forward in your lives. You have shown the world by overcoming all challenges that when going gets tough, tough gets going. My advice to you is to believe in yourself always. You ought to know that you're limitless and that you create your own reality. Pursue your dreams with passion, persistence and laser-like focus and you're sure to accomplish all your dreams. In order to experience the best quality of life, define your mission and work a plan to get there. Demonstrate integrity, show who you are to the world and be consistent. May Tumor Mood Diaco Ahmed Sad Dennis Bocciu Owen Tolomain Forward Actar George Cruz Ryan Allen McCartney Dylan Jarvis Wilson Rezga Hassan Suleimani Kingsley Manu Thevaki Maharameshkant Thanashi Purvika Jayawira Thanks to my loving parents, my lecturers and my friends. Thank you for guiding me and supporting me. I'm very grateful to you all. Congrats to all of you who's graduating today. Pinaduwij Dushyantha Ravindra Silva I'm Dushyantha Silva from Sri Lanka. I'm delighted to graduate the MSc in ESM today. I'd like to thank the prestigious BCU and the next campus, Colombo, Sri Lanka. Molly Diane Ford 
Callum George Beardsmore Sundip Chohan Chloe Lee Davies Mohammed Yazin Uddin Dali Dominique Fernandez Harry Green Fatima Karim Hani Katab Tai Lai Jacob Lister Barat Ram Mall Leah Patel Mohammed Wajidu Rahman Aaron Sander Mohammed Shahzad Illyrio Lua Oluofun Mito Tade Samuel Charles Taylor Abdullah Ahmed Abdullah Basad Nicole Panache Mugova Dormantas Pirigas Lawrence Aki Mohammed Mihan Ali Taibar Begum Okil Brown Ionet Danilescu Andre Rosvon Dimitru Yiyun Edwards Asma Gangat Mohammed Hamza Suleyman Haq Nadim Mohammed Kausa Hussein Nketchi Christabel Ikem Mohan Khan Ravina Mahai Abtasim Mohammed Baban Saad Rosvon Stefan Saga Shashi Sharma Curtis Wolf Samuel Woodhouse Owen Wright Mudhe Yafai Maria Hussein James Lister Zach Smith Hello, my name is Zach Smith. I'm a BCU student. I got a 2-1 this year and I'd like to thank everybody who supported me over the last three years. Leah Spencer 
Jacob Bishop. Christopher Peter Conlin. Yu Song Phone. Clive Fernandez. Daniel Hind. Callum Masterton. Reefers Mohammed Miasuddin. Ramya Safani. Matthew Luke Watts. Dylan Singh Bogle. Samuel Dottore. Carl Forsyth. The Quan Nguyen. Abigail Ogiemi. Balash Ola. Matthew Openshaw. Jack Pearson. Thomas Daniel Barmihas. Philip Moura. Thomas Llewellyn Griffith. Mohammed Tapshir Hussein. Adam Martin Jones. Andre Lujanskiy. Akash Raza Mukul. Izaz Ahmed Parekh. Jack Michael Abstrain. Emmanuel Akinjutaya. Vakar Ali. Jamie Cooper Clark. Vlad Krianga. Samuel Dugmore. Wojciech Frankzak. Kiefer Shomar Harry. Hamia Hamza Hussein. Tanzil Khan. Omar Khayyam Mahmood. Toha Mahmood. Archibald Shinjirai Manash Makatos. Joshua James Margan. Nuraldin Nossa Ibrahim Mohammed Nossa. Neil Patel. Adil Rahim. Gabriel Saeed. Johan Maverick Santos. Ria Sharma. Avinda Singh. Rafal Sponarski. Lord Wynne Jason Mensah Anim. 
Samuel Lovesy. William Mack. Majiba Mobubismail. Chanel Simran Menezes. Jiao Zongda. Li Na. Ma Langsi. Shu Yi Meng. Zing Karen. Cho Han Yu. Abu Saleh Biswasaka. Emily Bunce. James Vincent Espatikish. Archie Locke. Nathan Petty. Jordan Pollard. Olivia Prendergast. Natalie Redfern. Brandon Simon Horton. Dan Stefan Stoika. Henry Angus Edmund Townley. Valerija Volkova. Ryan Jack Rogers. Dayane Cavalcante. Charlie Milo Donaldson. Beatrice Giordaro Teixeira. Jurij Kochenenko. Ben Mitchell. Daniel Robinson. James Salcedo. Thomas J. Travers. Mia Churchill. Alfred Cliff. Fabian Cook. Olivia Grace Bethany Grant. Patrick Luke Murphy. Oyin Consola Ogunjobi. William Francis Wilson. A. H. Mohammed Akram. RMMC Dasanayaka. Laysan Mithsuka Ahangama Dikambura. Disanake Mudiansalaj Viraj Shayara Disanake. Kosala Ganathilaka. Muhammad Hussein. Rankiri Pathirana Helij Sudira Sandaru Jayasi. Pasindu Deshan Kalubo Wheeler.
Ishan Kandagi. Shamoon Mohammed Mersif. W.D. Barnuka Nyanajith. Patira Vasan Kusal Shanuka. Hi, I would like to thank everyone who supported me throughout this journey, especially my parents and my brother. And also, I want to congratulate my friends. We made it, guys. Randenyage Nanjala Mamalsha Pereira. Hapugahawathia Aluthgadara Pemitha Randia. Prabashitha Wirakon. Devin Yasasvin Wikramasingha. Thanawira Akij Asira Hemaka Wijayarathni. Lanka Samia Wajkun Vishwa Sachith Weejasingha Jai Wardhana Weligama Kasaga Ishan Dilmina Vijasinya Kankana Malage Ruchira Kalhara Yatagara I am Ruchira Kalhar and truly glad about my academic achievement. It gives me a focus in meeting challenges in software engineering. I am grateful to my counselors, tutors and parents for their great support. Joshua Kirk Amy Dowell Afi Farkradeen James Finch Jay Guyton Nathan Hill Severi Matthias Olavi Malula Benjamin Gary O'Connor Joshua J. Price Nixie Phoebe Rachel Weber Oliver Nicholas Werwood Matthew Wildman Jeremy Jember